What's up? My name is Tech Number here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a viewer requested video for you. So what exactly do you do if Superfetch or something called SysMain is taking up a ton of CPU or disk performance, making your entire computer slow? Well, before we get into simply disabling it to get our PC performance back to normal, what exactly does it do? Well, it's supposed to help applications and other things when they're starting up to start up faster and sometimes perform a bit better. While this is a feature that's on by default in Windows and it's supposed to give you extra performance, it is something that can glitch out sometimes, leaving you with a really slow system while it does whatever it does in the background. Well, most of the time, it's probably due to driver incompatibility, software incompatibility, or it could be stuck in a loop of loading some sort of data. Now, of course, if you leave it for a while and it doesn't automatically fix itself, you restart and it's still broken, you can temporarily disable it until you're ready to try again at some stage in the future if you notice a negative performance impact. Anyways, Let's get on with it. How do you disable Superfetch or SysMain? Well, it's really simple. First of all, hold start and then press R to bring up this run dialog box. Inside of here, type in services.msc and then hit enter. After doing this, a new window will open. Simply sort by name in the top left and then click anywhere on this list and hit S. This will scroll us all the way down to S. What we're looking for is SysMain and Superfetch. You may find one, you may find the other. On my computer, I have SysMain here and I don't have a Superfetch option. Basically, Windows 10 had an update where they renamed Superfetch to SysMain. To disable this, all you have to do is right click, properties, change startup type from automatic to disabled, then click apply. After doing this, click stop to stop the current running service. And after it's done, Superfetch should now be disabled. You can hit OK and you can close out of this window, assuming you don't also have a Superfetch option here. If at some stage in the future you'd like to re-enable it, you can simply right-click Properties, change it from Startup Type Disabled to Automatic, Apply, and then click Start. After doing this, Superfetch will be running once again if you'd like to try and use it at some stage in the future. But anyways, that's about it for this quick video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!